the exhibition Sagalassos, meanwhile in the mountains, is organized on three floors. On the first floor, we wanted to give the visitor the impression of where Sagalassos is situated in time, but also in research. So we try to um, bring knowledge on every layer, be it from geology all the way up in the skies, the gods, with everything in between, the forestry, the animals, the water, the soils, the, the quality of the, um, uh, of the geological materials, mineralogical materials, uh, all of that information we wanted to bring. And of course that is very rich information in interdisciplinary terms, so we also at the same time introduce how we work as an interdisciplinary research project. On the second floor we want to situate Sagalassos in time, which means that we actually start from the earliest um, uh, appearance of, of human occupation in our study region, which actually goes back before Homo sapiens to Homo neanderthalensis, so about 140,000 years uh, before the start of our era. But we continue, and Sagalassos, the ancient city, of course, forms part of that history, but we continue all the way up to yesteryear, as it were, um, because the current village of Ilche of Alasun is also a very important research topic for us. Um, it's the continuation of life um, in the region of Alasun and Sagalassos, which is presented on the second floor. And then on the, the third floor, we work with um, some teams on ancient economy, on ancient diet, on funerary culture, but also on, on religion, classical teams in archaeology, but where we mainly try to, to bring the human beings, so the, the population of ancient Sagalassos, to the front, um, so that we try to tell a very human story on the ancient city of Sagalassos.